G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Hey, this is just a little quick one. We've been watching raw space, as I always do, and we see that the ISS, or rather, the Soyuz MS-22 module attached to the ISS, has sprung a little bit of a leak. Now, this is rather interesting because we get to see what happens when fluids are released directly into the vacuum of space. And unlike those people who think this is all done in a pool, I'm not sure how we're going to get all those particles going in Lots and lots of different straight lines in all different directions. Now, I spent probably way too much time watching this footage this morning, but if you want to have a look, please hop over to Raw Space's video. Uh, the link's in the description as always. And click like and subscribe to him. He's always a great channel to watch. And as for you flatties, I'd love to hear how you explain this one. I might have to ask Flatsoid to have a go at this. He always likes to have an explain of things. Thanks, guys. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, you're continuing to uh, take a look at particles leaking from the uh, Soyuz MS-22 spacecraft docked to the Rosviet module of the International Space Station. This leak uh, was first observed about uh, two hours and 45 minutes ago, around 6.45 p.m. Central Time, at the time at which Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin were uh, preparing uh, to begin a spacewalk to uh, move uh, outside of the Poisk airlock of the station, a spacewalk designed uh, to move a radiator from the Rosviet module to the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. This leak or stream of particles from the area of the instrumentation and propulsion module was associated with uh, a uh, drop in pressure in the cooling loop of the Soyuz MS-22. It is not known uh, what the source of the leak is. Russian specialists are in the process of evaluating uh, data, taking a careful look at uh, video that is being sent to them from here in Mission Control. While we stand by and uh, wait for further word, in the meantime, Prokopiev and Patelin safely back inside the International Space Station. They were never in any danger in the airlock, in the Poisk airlock, uh, of the station preparing for their spacewalk. They're now out of their Orlon spacesuits, awaiting further word on uh, what the next course of action will be. This is the Soyuz vehicle that was launched back in September to carry Prokopiev, the Soyuz commander, and now Expedition 68 commander, Patelin and NASA's Frank Rubio to the station, launching from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Launching the station, space to ground one. Good chair with good one. Go ahead on space and ground two. Anton, I opened four twenty one. And so I'm supposed to do a two deactivation and the pressure sensors. There's the, those steps 